Here on the program, Ukrainian troops are storming the eastern city of Slavyansk, which is held by anti-government protesters. The local self-defense forces report one man has been killed and anywhere up to three helicopters have been downed. The Interior Ministry says one pilot is dead and several soldiers injured. I talked a short while ago with Artis Paula Slea. She is in the region. We are hearing from a local self-defense commander that at least one helicopter has dropped soldiers near the town of Slavyansk. And reports just in suggest that one pilot has been killed and another has been taken hostage. There is heavy fighting happening in the vicinity of the railway station. Locals have been telling us that they've been hearing cannons being fired in the outskirts of the town. We also understand that at least one check Checkpoint has been taken. Now, several checkpoints have come under attack. Reinforcements by these self defense units are being brought to checkpoints that man and control all the roads in and out of Slavyansk. We spoke to one resident inside the besieged town. Early in the morning, a major operation on the city began. Armored vehicles came to the outskirts of the city where the fighting is going on. In the center of the city, troops are being dropped in by helicopters. There are also right sector members there. We also understand that at least eight armored vehicles have been seen right up close near the town of Slavyansk. We are hearing reports of injuries. We also understand that the police station has come under attack. There is heavy fighting being reported in the vicinity of the police station. Now, as you can well imagine, telephone lines are very, very poor. We're struggling to speak with people inside the city. The town has been expecting this. There is an atmosphere of, of panic and of fear. Indeed, the reports have been taken seriously that the Ukrainian army is planning to launch such an attack. And at the same time, we understand that the Ukrainian army is using both ground troops and air support.